How to whip stitch. The whip stitch is a simple stitch used in both sewing and crocheting. In both practices, it is usually used to sew together two separate pieces of material with flat edges. When used on crocheted works, the whip stitch is nearly invisible. For sewn works, the stitch is a more visible, but can be masked. Using thread sewing. Thread the needle. Feed one end of the thread into your sewing needle and draw the thread halfway through. Tie both ends together into a knot. If you want to camouflage the whip stitch, use thread in a coordinating color. If you want the whip stitch to stand out, use thread of a contrasting color. Embroidery thread works well for this stitch, but any thick thread can be used. To tie the knot, try moistening your forefinger. Wrap the thread around your forefinger once. Then use your thumb to push the thread off your finger, twisting it in the process. Finally, pull the end of the thread to tighten the knot. Arrange two pieces of fabric on top of each other. Make sure that the edges you intend to sew together are evenly aligned. The sides of the fabric which you intend to be the back end should face out so as to be visible during the process. The thread you use here will be more visible. Pin or baste the layers together to hold them in place. Poke your needle up through the top layer of fabric. While looking at the two layers of fabric from the side, draw the needle up through the bottom of the top layer, leaving the bottom layer untouched. Start your stitch about 1 8 inch 3.175 mm from the end. Also note that each stitch you make should be 1 8 inch 3.175 mm away from your sewn edge, as well, by only piercing through the top layer, you will draw the knot between the two layers, thereby hiding it from sight. Poke your needle up through both layers of fabric. Circle the needle around to the bottom layer of fabric and pierce through the fabric directly under your first hole. Draw it straight through both layers of fabric, making sure that it comes out in nearly the same position as your first half stitch. This is your first full stitch since it connects both layers together. When you complete this step, the thread should be wrapped around the edges of both layers in an even stitch, forming a loop around the outside of the fabric. Make sure that the stitch is secure, but not so tight that it causes the fabric to bunch up. Bring the needle up through both layers again at an angle. Bring the needle back to the bottom of the fabric and poke it up through both layers of fabric. Angle the needle so that it comes out roughly 1 8 inch 3.175 mm away from the first stitch. This second stitch will essentially cover the first stitch, pull the thread tight. When done, you should only be able to see what appears to be one stitch, but the thread should come out from fabric in a blank spot next to the stitch. Each stitch should be approximately 1 8 inch from one another and from the edge of the fabric, so that each stitch is parallel. Make another angular stitch through both layers. Position the needle beneath the bottom side of the fabric. Poke it up into both layers of fabric, beginning just beneath the spot at which the thread is coming up. Angle the needle so that it comes out through the top another 1 8 inch 3.175 mm away from the previous stitch. The stitch itself should not appear angular, however. It should run straight up and down over the edge, parallel to the first stitch. Repeat the pattern as needed. Continue making stitches that mimic the previous one. Draw the needle up through both layers, starting at a point beneath the previous stitch and ending at a position 1 8 inch 3.175 mm away. Do this until you reach the end of the edge. Note that the majority of your stitches will follow this pattern, but your last full stitch and half stitch will be different and will mimic the stitches you made at the beginning of the process. Create your final full stitch. For your final full stitch, pierce the needle through the bottom layer and draw it straight up through both layers instead of stitching at an angle. This stitch should be made 1 8 inch 3.175 mm away from the edge of the fabric, just as the first one was. Make a half stitch in between layers. Poke the needle up through the bottom layer again, in the same spot as your previous stitch. Only bring the thread through the bottom layer, however, and not the top layer. In this step, you are mirroring the initial half stitch you created at the beginning of the process. 
This stitch will be hidden in between both layers of fabric. Tie a finishing knot. Draw the needle through the back of the last stitch you made. Pull the layers apart slightly to reveal the back side of your stitches. Open up the pieces of fabric like two leaves of a book. Wrap the needle through your last stitch, creating a loose loop in the process. Thread the fabric back around, twisting it around the original loop. Then pull tight. This knot should also be hidden in between the two layers of fabric. After creating the knot, cut your thread to free it from the needle. Trim it short so that it cannot be visible from the front side. This knot should also be hidden in between the two layers of fabric. After creating the knot, cut your thread to free it from the needle. Trim it short so that it cannot be visible from the front side. Flatten the stitches. Gently pull the two layers apart, causing the stitches to flatten evenly against the fabric. This step completes the process.